G'day team, Cam here from the Fish Room again. Today we're doing a product review on Tetra Pro Cory Wafers. Okay, so before we get into this, I want to tell you what I find is a fairly amusing story. The first time that I tried this product, I opened the bag and I smelled it and it absolutely stunk. It was vile. It was horrible. I thought to myself straight away, this is a terrible product. I got real judgmental, but no. Nah, no, nah, never going to use it. It's rubbish. No. Nah. So anyway, I thought, well, I've opened it. I'm going to feed some and just see if the fish like it. Uh, within, I don't know, three seconds, every single quarry that I had in every single tank that I fed, was going crazy on the stuff and then um, throughout the afternoon when we had the shop open we had people come in and the Corey's obviously going crazy and everyone asked basically what was it what is it you feeding it showed them what it was and I sold two or three packets in a very short period of time so um, I guess there is more to fish food than the smell and first impressions aren't always um, correct so bear that in mind if you do buy some at some point and it smells and it smells like rubbish just Bear in mind that the fish do eat it. So let's get on to the product itself. Alright, so the Tetra Pro Cory Wafers, which is a complete diet for catfish and loaches. It's two in one food and it's shrimp enhanced. Back of the packet says premium two in one food with shrimp and potato protein for easy, digestible, and ideal protein for omnivorous grazers. A specialized premium staple diet developed by Tetra Brand senior nutrition scientists for catfish varieties, loaches, and other omnivore grazing species. Uh, so it sounds pretty good. Uh, let's see how. Oh, it's also got a clear water formula, provides balanced nutrition for your fish without having to worry about the tank cloudiness. And it's got an asterisk there. The asterisk says when used as recommended. The ingredients, we've got some wheat gluten, some shrimp meal, some de-held soybean meal, wheat flour, corn, gluten meal, feeding oat meal, yeast germ meal, potato protein, dried yeast, soybean oil, agar agar, monobasic calcium, phosphate, some other extract, some fish oil, something else, some L stuff, some C stuff, some other C stuff, some D stuff, some more acid, some other stuff, so a lot of other stuff that's kind of random in there. Uh, to be honest, the ingredients don't sound amazing, but the proof is in the pudding, and let's see how these fish take it. So this is what they look like. They say they're a two-in-one food, um, so I'm assuming that means there's the red and then the brown, which is the two-in-one part of it. Not very big. Probably don't want very big feeding quarries and stuff. What's that? Not even the size of a... No. Half of an odd five cent piece, pretty small. Anyway, let's chuck a few in. So we've got a few peppered quarries in here. So the rainbow fish are going for it pretty quickly. Here come the quarries, very slowly. Let's feed out some more to the other ones down here. Stir by it. Well, everything else is going pretty crazy on it. So it has been some time, uh, probably an hour, hasn't been touched, hasn't been touched, hasn't been touched, hasn't really been touched, they've moved around but they haven't really been touched. So I'm not certain whether I was feeding the same Tetra Pro Cory wafers or a different one. So I'm going to throw in some of the uh, shrimp wafers now because I'm very curious. So let's see what happens with the shrimp wafers.
Well, the rosy barbs absolutely love the shrimp wafer. Going crazy on it. Now, if I don't scare them. Little peppers have come out as well. An interesting development. Well, what do you know? Corey's having a wee snuffle up, I guess, on the shrimp wafers. There's a couple of them under there. A couple there. Might always see if there's a couple in that corner there as well. So it would appear that I got the food wrong. Now the Cory Pro wafers are not so good, but the Tetra shrimp wafers, not too bad. So these little high pans are pretty happy on the Cory wafers. I've literally only just dropped them in here, they only just hit the ground and they've come out for a feed. Um, but the Corys themselves, not so much. How's that fire in here? And these guys have already had a feed this morning, or actually late this afternoon as well. Whippies happy to eat it as well. Just not the Corys. So that would mean that in conclusion, the Tetra Pro Cory wafer, not the Tetra Pro Shrimp wafer, probably has to get a zero. Um, because the fish ain't eating it. And if the fish don't eat it, then it probably can't get any kind of standard at all. Um, I wish it wasn't like this but I don't feel that I can say it's better than what it is if it's not being eaten so yeah first thing a fish food is make sure the fish eat it and clearly my peppered corridors don't want a bar of it oh well till next time see you later